Hi guys, let us recall the video title expected value 1 in which we covered this scenario and we use a data frame as well as a line chart to see how the expected value of 1 could be ascertained by doing a simple simulation. So, we use just one data frame and a line graph. Of course, we split that line graph into four different charts to see the trend, how it gradually settles at one. And then in video title expected value two, we did the same. Nonetheless, the scenario was different. So in this video, we will con consolidate these two data frames in one data frame and we will draw one line chart to exhibit both the trends, the trend for game one and the trend for game two. Okay, so this consolidation has already been done. Here, you can see that there is only one data frame and there is only one chart. And see how this is settling at, let us go down. See, this is settling at minus one and for game one, it was settling at one. So there was no need to have two different data frames and two different set of charts. However, since those two games or scenarios were covered in two different videos, there were two data frames and two different charts. Let us consolidate both of them. It has already been done, but how it has been done, let us discuss here. So what we will do is we will bring these here. Okay. Let me make room. Okay. So here we will copy. This is pertaining to game number two or scenario two. And where is game number one? This, this data frame pertains to game number one. Okay, so let us bring that as well here. Let me copy here. Okay, good. Now, we also have a chart, right? So for chart, what we will do? Let us bring this here. Okay. And let us keep it somewhere here and just see what needs to be done. So what are the common things here? The common things are creation of this random variable. So we will have only one. Let us remove this. We will have only single data frame. Hence, we will not have this. Okay. And this is common, right? So let us take it on top. This is creation of random variable. And this is creation of a data frame which will have those variables pertaining to game one as well as game two. Now let us name it as DF data frame rather, rather than DF1 or DF2. Now this is also common. So we are going to flip the coin 1 million times and we are checking both the scenarios using single data frame, correct? So this, these variables are related to game one. So let us remove this, this, this. So our data frame is now 
common. Let me remove this as well from here. Okay. Fine. So let us call it as this time. Let us give a short name RV that is random variable. This is data frame, not DF1, DF, not DF1. Okay. This line is done. This line is okay. This line is okay. Okay. Here we have to be careful. We have to make everywhere df here as well good let me remove this okay and let us shorten this name expected value we will call it ev done good and let us remove this these variables are pertaining to game 2 now here again data frame remove it and random variable we will call it rv here as well we can call it as rv rv okay column if it is rv then it has to be rv here as well correct let us remove big names and replace them with small names okay done then what changes we have to make? Okay, here, fine. Data frame name needs to be taken care of. Done. Okay. This. This. And here again, expected value. Okay. So let us discuss about this. See, we will have 1 million flips. And we are generating this random variable, heads and tails we are writing initially. And this X will get populated with several heads and tails randomly. Data frame is getting, a data frame is getting created for this random variable. That will be one column. These are the conditions for game number one. And here, See, here we have already written, right, dfx column, then there is no need to have it here. Let us remove this. And it is all about game 1. Game 1, see, rv heads, game 1 heads, else game 1 tails. And this is game 1 fee, this is net gain, this is cumulative gain, and this is expected value. Okay? So, everywhere we have to see whether we are writing df or not. Yes, all df, df, df df tf correct now let us come to game 2 so this is 6 if it is heads 10 dollars tails 0 dollar okay good good yes this is also fine okay all look fine so let us run this and just see our data frame. We have consolidated. Look how it looks. Now it is saying these are values pertaining to the random variable. This is game one. Correct. How much fee we pay and net gain for game one, cumulative gain for game one and expected value for game one. And these columns are related to game two one data frame everything has come now we will see we will see the last few records look here game one what we are getting one just see look at this cell one and game two what is the expected value minus one correct now what we will do we will make a chart so here let us not write df2 you should write only df now what it will do? This is going to make chat for both the games. Now, if we have to have that, then let us make this as game one and it is no more expected value. It is EV, right? Game one, look EV. 
So we'll write game one EV. And here what we'll say? Game two EV. So what happens? Our curve will be this curve will be for game one and this curve will be for game two. Of course, it is all about expected value. So let us run and see how it works. See, let it run. So this is for initial 100 flips. This is for initial 500 flips. This is for 1000 and this for entire set. Look, this is minus one and this is one. So what we have done? We have done nothing but consolidated both the data frames into one data frame and instead of having two separate charts like this, two, two separate charts like this, we are exhibiting the trend through a single chart. And this is what we have done. Okay. So everything has already been explained. In fact, it was already written here. It was already written to save ourselves time. So I will retain that and I will remove this and just save the file. Let me remove all these unused cells. So this is the consolidated data frame and consolidated chart for both the games. Okay, let us run it again. Let us see tails here. Tail means last five records. So minus one, one, done. And chart. It will show us four different graphs. So this is all about consolidation. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.